even if you are not a fan of the roguelike genre, this game before you will turn you into a believer. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, like the when I go and like a man I come, Zephyr is here. And today, I have come to review a game called Port of the Lamb to see if it's worth playing during your downtime. Developed by Massive Monster and published by Devolver Digital, Call of the Lamb is a dungeon crawler roguelike colony management game. In Call of the Lamb, you will be playing as a lamb. But you are not just any lamb, you are a lamb of many things. A farmer, a miner, a woodcutter, a scavenger, a fisher, a chef, a heretic slayer, a saviour, a poop shoveler, a father, but most importantly, the messiah, who the power of devotion obtained from your followers. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many occupations that some consider it to be unnatural. And with that power, you shall dive into the dungeon to slay various foes and bosses just to release the one who waits from his imprisonment. Combat in the game feels very impactful no matter the weapon you use. Different weapons have different reach and attack speed. Hence, it will take a while for you to get used to the combat rhythm based on that weapon. And there are tarot cards in the game which grants you additional boon to your weapon or serve as a boost to your weapon stats. Safely returning from the dungeon is expected from the Great Messiah. But dying or fleeing from the dungeon will make your followers lose faith and a percentage of your obtained loot. Losing a bit of loot is acceptable, but losing the faith of your followers is not. Such audacity will not be tolerated after all. You provide food and shelter for the lost and unloved. To repay your benevolent act of kindness with malice is a no-no. So, a little bit of punishment is expected such as imprisonment or death. And that's the gameplay for Call of the Lamb. The gameplay loop is no doubt repetitive, but when the average dungeon run lasts about 10 minutes and that you will spend more time on the colony management aspect of the game, you will not feel the burnout from the repetitive gameplay loop, alongside with the fact that the combat is both short and intense. The combat is simple, but it is not perfect. You can swing your weapon left and right, but when the enemies come from the top or below, you cannot swing your weapon in that direction. This flaw is more obvious when you are using the dagger due to its short range, but the rest of the weapon does not have this problem because of their longer reach. Another problem with the combat that I have is that you are not able to select your choice of arms at the start of the dungeon. Dungeon runs are highly dependent on weapon and tarot cards, and by not giving you the option to choose a weapon that you are comfortable with, you will not be running the dungeon at your peak performance. This then boils down to RNG. Some runs are completely horrible if you are downright unlucky, but the reverse is also true. When you get the weapon that you like, along with tarot cards that are amazing, you'll be killing the boss like cutting down a patch of grass. The colony management aspect of the game is mostly alright, but if you're playing the game fresh, no doubt you'll be stumbling here and there due to not knowing which Darkwing is a better pick or which upgrade is more urgent than the other. And as time goes by, the management gets more and more hands off as you are able to assign your followers to do certain actions for you. This does not mean you can stop the daily sermon and stop making lunch. The downside to Call of the Lamb is that there is little to no replay value and that is a massive contrast when compared to other action mode like game out there. But I cannot deny the fact that this game is rather enjoyable to play. Call of the Lamb is a single player roguelike like dungeon crawler with colony management on the side and that the visuals of the game are rather pleasing to the eyes. Although it does give off the don't start together vibe, the usage of the colors makes the aesthetics of the game unique in its own right. The story of the game is easy to follow, but honestly, it is definitely not the main reason why you would want to get the game. It is the pop mechanic, the art style, and the music that will certainly capture your attention.
The system requirement of the game is rather alright. I got no issues playing the game with my current specs and able to get a stable 60 FPS. The game offers full controller support and the game is just as playable on the keyboard and mouse. There are a wide variety of languages for you to play the game in, and they are English, Japanese, Russian, French, German, Spanish, Brazilian Portuguese, Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, and Korean. The sound design of the game is rather pleasant to me. I like the music when you are back in your car, and the combat music is also nice to listen to. You can beat the game in about 16 to 20 hours, but if you're going for the 100% Steam achievement, I would say you can take an additional 5 hours to get it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Call of the Lamb, and the game is available on the PC, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch. You can get the game for $26 or based on your region GDP. Can I recommend you getting Call of the Lamb for $26 for you to play during your downtime? Absolutely! Call of the Lamb certainly is up to the massive heart the game has and the game's success is certainly understandable. It got a decent art style, good music, and a fun gameplay loop. Even if you have just about 1 or 2 hours of luxury time for yourself, the dungeon run is short enough for your limited time, but long enough for your enjoyment. My name is Zephyr, let the winner go and let the money come. And now it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. And if you enjoyed the video, do subscribe to show your support and follow me on my Patreon as well. Stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!